think it's B. Yeah. Get your shoulder back, woman. I know. Strap me oh, in. Yeah, okay. okay. You are perfect. So we all know Lauren is a woman, and you have a privilege. You know her better than anybody. What, what would you like us to know about Lauren, or Lauren to know what you'd like to say to her in public? That what? That would I like to say to her in public? Yeah. What would you like to say to Lauren in public? Would you marry me? I said that a lot, though. Uh, what do you say about Lauren? Look, I saw that film, that compilation of Lauren's work. And, I mean, she doesn't do love stories. She does actions, adventures, and people get killed, arrows in them, claws, knives. She's, woof. I mean, she's not a G producer. This is a really tough lady who makes really tough films. I think, did we just see one, or are we about to see the dark side of her films? We could. We could see it. We're going to about to. We're about is to that coming it. after? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean... In, 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 what's the matter? We have an Otis sighting. <laughs> we have an Otis problem? An Otis sighting. There's all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or the uh, fish. Those are the biggest koi oh. I've ever seen. And some of them were born here. Oh, my God. Yeah. Where do you feed them? Well, I can't tell you. Oh. If I told you, everybody would have big koi. <laughs> <laughs> Proprietary koi food. <laughs> we're spinning. Okay. okay great. So, what do I know about Lauren? What would I say about Lauren? Um, besides her producing abilities which are as you well know extraordinary that's how we met us actually and she hired me as a director on a very wonderful picture called lady hawk and um i i've always kind of produced my own work because i like to defend myself from producers i think i have to a director has to protect his life and and his career and usually he, there's a lot of there's a lot of pretty Ridiculous people who call themselves producers. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to the story. So she hired me to do this film. I think she really was had something going for me, and I didn't know it, you know, but I can't say that. Well, it's done. But uh, um, I fell in love with my producer, which is unheard of. She became my best friend over two years of trying to make the movie Lady Hawk and traveling here, traveling there. We'd always meet in the lobby in the morning, go out and run, and... Just a great time. She became a great buddy, and I saw she was really a good producer, and she could defend herself, and then we were friends. True. And then during the picture, she um, decided to get divorced. I fell in love with her the day she told me. I mean, from my best friend, she became the woman I wanted to marry. And I've only been married uh, once. This is it. My one Lauren. And... Uh, She's an incredible woman. She's a great producer, obviously, but she's a, she's a better wife. She's a better friend. She's the most dedicated woman I've ever met. I mean, her time is spent with children in orphanages. She's always active in the environment, you know, tree people. I mean, they, they honored Lauren and tree people. And I, 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 I said that, you know, only, um, only nature can create trees, but then nature created Lauren, and she created a forest. I mean, it's true. She's an amazing woman, anything she puts her mind to. And when she puts her mind to being your wife and lover, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. So it's, you've seen her films on that wonderful little piece you've done. And um, you know, most of you, I'm sure, have seen all her movies. If not, go out and get them. And, uh, but I just wanted to sum it up by saying... Uh, as, as great as those films are and as tough as it must be for, and that's another thing, how tough it is for a woman out here in Hollywood. I mean, there's not very much respect for most producers. And then a woman on top of it, she had it really tough. And she had to earn her way. As a matter of fact, there's a camera being shot right now of us. And my wife, Lauren, was the first woman to break into the state old true men's cameraman local. She was a cameraman, person, woman. Sorry, she gets very angry if I say cameraman, but that's your, you know, that's, you're stuck with a word. But uh, she's an amazing woman, a wonderful wife. I love you dearly. And um, may you go on producing these wonderful movies forever and producing our relationship even better. Thank you for being my wife. And thanks for being my producer also. We got another picture coming out. Timeline, go see it. Anything else? What else? Just, Give me some more. Just do a tag on, okay, but this is her dark period or this is okay. her existential years. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay. She's known for being so sweet, but there's another side of Lauren you might not know. Yeah, okay. Well, you know, when you talk about Lauren, there's, there's, you know, she's known as being just the sweetest thing in the world. I mean, she does have those other action things, but look at most of it's a love story. And, and she's having gone through this industry as a woman in the worst situations that can happen in this town. How, how they treat him with such little respect. I've never seen Lauren lose it. She always wins people back with her soft side and her lovingness and her tenderness and her dedication and her honesty. But she has a dark side. And uh, as a matter of fact, we gave um, you people a little piece of film to look at. It's a little film Lauren's mind created, which eventually she transposed it into a very commercial uh, film, a very successful commercial film, but the first way she saw it was pretty dark, pretty dark lady at times. What else? Any else? No, I think That's it? I think unless, oh, great. Unless there's anything else. No, no, I, I wish I could. As I think I, all the films and shows that are about to get an award after Lauren's have a female protagonist. So it's everything from like Alias to The Simpsons is going to yeah. not get, get it an award. Is this going to be a late night? <laughs> Uh, no, it's not because yeah. our writers aren't aren't getting. Credit. When's the next game? Saturday yeah. or Sunday? <laughs> uh, Saturday. Oh, believe me, I'm New York, baby. <laughs> Yankee Stadium, born in the Bronx. <laughs> Two forty first Street, White Plains Road. A uh, Crescent Avenue. Hey. hey. That's cool. Yeah. So no, probably till ten thirty. So okay. seven to ten thirty. All right. Do you have any cots backstage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was we talking about? Wins. Okay. Win the win award. She's getting right. the okay. Achie for lifetime achievement. Yeah. And, because of what she accomplishes. I, I, I think we chose her because of not only is she in the $2 billion boys club and she's an incredible producer, but she maintained her humanity and she's an extraordinary example of what a woman can do starting from having to break the, the door down at the cameraman's union. You don't call her cameraman. Camera person's union. <laughs> camera, camera, I never know what I can say about person. her and she gets livid. Uh, no, she doesn't. She's, that's all bullshit for her. She's great. Yeah. Doesn't get uptight about anything. <laughs> um, um, okay, feed me as we go. Okay. Yeah. So we're we're gi we've given your wife the um, we're presenting your wife. I guess Demi Moore is going to come out and give it to her. It's a lifetime achievement. Oh, her. I'd like to give it to Demi Moore. Oh. The lifetime achievement award. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so oh, oh God. That's what you mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? We thought you were so amazing, mild mannered. This amazing woman, huh? Yeah. Oh, GI Jane was great. Huh? Oh, but more than. I mean, what, what she's done, and I mean, being free, second fiddle, first fiddle, second fiddle, first fiddle, and then with the kids, and then, I mean, and, then and the way she together. pulled herself back up, and back, she's an amazing woman. She really is. She truly is. So Lauren asked her to come. Great. Yeah, so we'll, we don't know if she will come or Paul Walker will come. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, a lot of her friends are coming. Oh, good. Okay, okay. So do you want to say anything about the award or really about, yeah. you know, you know, okay, so when you when you talk about, and that's what we're really here to do, uh, the Win Award, um, I want to say Lauren deserves it more than anybody out there, the, the Win Award. But that's not true. Um, she had a tough time in this business, as I said, as every woman does. It's just terrible. Treated with great disrespect. And um, it's, it's, she was interviewing for a job once, and the producer said something to her about um, she's not a type and she said no he said well you're never going to get ahead in this business <laughs> I mean it was that kind of thing but my, my point is this she had it tough she had it tough breaking into the camera uh, local cameraman's local and to become a camera person and and she and she's had it tough getting in the studio doors and she's had it tough uh, getting the respect she deserves um, I mean, she's one of the most profitable producers out there, but she's also one of the most tasteful and one of the most gentle and the most laughing, happy person. I mean, she loves passionately what she does. So when I said it's, she, I'm thrilled she's getting an award because I'm so proud of her. But at the same time, boy, there's a lot of women out there that deserve it. And there's a lot of women out there that are going through hell to keep up what they want to have as a career and uh, hopefully they will look to people like Lauren and and know they can overcome the bullshit that they have to put up with all the time 
Um, and those are the awards, you know, in a strange way because it's still in front of them that you want to give out just to give them the encouragement. Here, here's a half of the award. Keep going the way you're going. We'll give you the other half because you deserve it. You're going to deserve it. She's got both halves and the middle, Lauren. But it's tough. And um, um, in every phase of our business, I think in every business, I think in everything, it's tough for women. Um, when they become, when we, the guys become minorities, it's going to be, I mean, boy. Did you ever read uh, Philip's book? What was his name? Philip? The, the Disappearance? Philip Wiley? No. Where all of a sudden, in a moment in life, all the men disappear from the world and all the women. So there are two universes, one without women, one without men. Airplanes crash, the babies are born wrong, everything. And then they have to sustain their own societies. And it's just, it's a wonderful book. Mm. But that's what goes on in this industry. I mean, women are treated like a separate... 53% and we're niche. Sorry? We're 53% of the population and we're still niche, a niche. Well... You know, it. Uh, you just what it is is women have to work harder. It's too bad, but maybe it's not because you work harder. It's the proof of the pudding is the really good people are going to come through. The ones that deserve it are going to work the hardest. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think anybody uh, enjoys their looking back on their job and saying, "Oh boy, it was a snap. I love it. I'm here at the top of the heap." Everybody likes to tell that story. You know, like your father did when I was a kid. I had to walk three miles through snow to get to school. And we lived in Florida. So, I mean, you know. But um, th those stories are going to be, uh, it's tough. It's tough. I, I, If I had my druthers, obviously, I wouldn't want to be a woman in this business because then I wouldn't have been the man to meet Lauren and fall in love with her. So, uh, but for lots of reasons. I think it's tough. And uh, the ones that come through and really make it have really worked hard at it. A lot harder than most of the guys, and uh, and they deserve it. And they deserve all the respect. And I look to wins. It's a it's a wonderful organization. It's a it's wonderful for. I hope there's a whole group of women, girls, women, out there that will see your awards, that'll read about you, and give them the encouragement that hey, I want to be I want to be up there and receive that award one year, and uh, it's probably better than an Academy Award. Anything else? <laughs> I don't remember what to say. No, that was great. Uh, that, I, that 